Joining us now in a Closing Bell exclusive interview is Neuro President and co-founder Dave Ferguson. Dave, welcome to the show. We, we followed you a bit because you're doing a test with Kroger on groceries and Domino's on pizza delivery. How does this FedEx pilot work? What's different about it? Uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me again. We're, we're really excited to be partnering with FedEx. For, for us, this, this represents the first time that we've entered into the package delivery vertical. So as a company, it's, it's a really big deal. And I think even more important than that, this is a multi-year commitment by both, part, by both parties to really build the future of, of on-demand and, and local delivery using self-driving vehicles. So, so we're really excited about it. So are, the, are they trucks? What, what is self-driving deliveries of packages look like? Yeah, so for us right now, uh, as, as we've talked about uh, before with, with CNBC, we're, we're operating our second generation vehicle, um, which is a smaller on-road vehicle that, that travels amongst regular traffic. And it, it's used for transporting things locally. With FedEx, uh, one of the things that's really exciting is that this is a commitment to use our third generation vehicle, which we have not yet announced. Uh, and it's a bit larger, so it can hold more packages and, and more items in general. But the basic premise is the same. This will be a vehicle that doesn't have anyone on board. It, it will interact with both partners and consumers at curbside. And so folks will be interacting with the vehicles. It will have, we hope, very easy to use interface where the compartments are, are very easy to open and you'll be able to get your, your packages very securely from the vehicle. What, Dave, uh, is stopping this from becoming very widely uh, adopted at this stage? Or is that inevitable in the, in the short term? Or do you still need different regulation? Do you need a little bit more innovation on your side? Yeah, great question. Uh, a little bit of all of the above, I would say. Uh, so we've, we've, we're very proud of the progress that we've made on the technical side. So obviously we have active pilots going with our custom vehicles out in the world. Uh, on the regulatory side, we've also made pretty big strides. So the, the R2, the second generation vehicle that we have out uh, doing deliveries with Domino's, was the first and only vehicle ever granted an exemption by the Department of Transportation to be a fully self-driving vehicle out on roads. And so we feel pretty good from, from all of these aspects, but there's still a little bit more work to be done. I would say on the tech side, there's still a little bit more work to be done before we can scale to the level of the entire country, which is obviously what we want to do and also what we're aligned with, with FedEx and doing. Should FedEx delivery workers be threatened by this? So one of the reasons why Neuro as a company is so excited about local last mile delivery is that we're incredibly confident that it's going to be a net uh, increase in jobs, like in, in massive numbers, millions of jobs. And we actually partnered with a, an independent company, the, the Steer company, to do a report on what the impact will be on jobs of, of local delivery with AV. Uh, and so we know that we're going to be growing this enormous market. We're going to be adding a lot more jobs. And with FedEx in particular, you know, FedEx uh, touches about 18 million packages a day. Uh, and within that, that massive, massive scale that they have, there are a ton of opportunities for us to work together in ways that are really complementary to their existing team and their existing operations. So if you think of just, just some of them, you know, there are the, the on-demand uh, package deliveries that require signatures, there, there are pickups, you know, there are a lot of elements and different use cases of what FedEx does where AV can can interact and, and can contribute pretty seamlessly without needing to impact in anything but a positive way the existing really strong workforce that they have. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.